Hello, welcome back. Have you ever planned for something and it didn't quite go as you had hoped or the way you planned? Well, today's video is going to share with you some of the struggles that I had when I participated in the Forgotten Coast plenary event this past week. I had planned to work with pastels. I had showed you how I organized those pastels in previous videos. And I went up with a group, well, went down. I'm in Florida, I'm in Georgia, we went to Florida. Went down with a group of artist friends and uh, wanted to learn all we could this past week and participate in planning, painting outdoors. Well, one of the events was the quick paint or quick draw that artists had two hours to complete a work. And so we drove over to St. George Island and in front of the lighthouse that was there and it was raining. I'm gonna show you in the next part of this video what happened and how I took care of the situation that I was in. So I hope you enjoy the collection of short clips that I took. And at the end of this video, I am gonna include some of the scenic views that we saw during the week. And I hope you stick around to see some of the gorgeous parts of Florida that you may not know about. If I had known about this part of Florida and how uncrowded it is, I might've taken my girls there when they were young, probably every year. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Hi, I'm Carrie Waltz. I'm here on uh, St. George Island painting in a paint out today. And look what weather we have. Isn't that lovely? Well, I am not getting out my pastel paints in the rain. And I have decided to use my mini oil painting set that I've done. And I've got a panel that's been stamped. I have 30 minutes to get my painting out and get ready and maybe in 30 minutes the rain will stop but I've stamped my panel or they've stamped it that they proves that I didn't have anything started on it I'm gonna work with a limited palette but I'm gonna be working with my small paint setup anyway and I'll put a link to uh, how I make that paint setup up here and we'll see how it goes I had to register as the professional and so I have a ton of competition I'm not gonna worry about that I'm gonna I'm just gonna play with it and see what I can come up with and, and just say, hey, I'm here participating and just to participate is, is a success <laughs> when you have weather like this. So we shall see how it goes and um, I will let you know. All right, I have pulled out my understock bag that has my whites and a medium, if I need it, wet wipes and there's all my paints. And this is my kit. All the all the uh, little tins are empty right now, but I have you know. Let's see how many more. I have 27 more minutes to put my paints in, and I've got my palette. Then I'll have my palette ready, and I have this already stamped. And when they sound the buzzer or whistle in 27 minutes, I will begin. I have the lighthouse. That's my view right now. Ooh, I should do it with raindrops. Ooh, now that's interesting. All right, I looked at the view, our lovely view, and it's still raining. So I decided to pull out my teeny tiny palette, try to do a quick sketch and warm up. So this is my warm up. And I wiped off the brush on an old rag in my lap. And I have my mineral spirits on the, the <laughs> dashboard of the car. And there's my painting waiting to be painted, and I'm about to get that ready. And so in the next, I have two minutes before I can begin the real competition. And I think I'm going to use somewhat of a limited palette because it kind of feels like I was looking through a blurred window when I painted that. So we'll see. This is my initial sketch with oil paint on a 5 by 7 panel. Again looking at that view as soon as the bell or the whistle rang i realized oh my word i haven't gone to the restroom i had coffee so the first few minutes of the competition i was running to the restroom isn't that smart of me mm. glad i'm painting small i've gotten a little bit of it done the hardest part for me so far is making the lighthouse dark enough to stand out from the sky. So the lighthouse is darker, although it's white, 
and see how how light the sky is so that's uh that's my struggle right now so we'll see if i can do that in a <clears throat> reasonable way i'm not using a totally limited palette but i have uh, a small double primary palette as well as my warm cool palette so continuing on okay i've gone about an hour including my bathroom break and i decided the far right palm tree i don't really need i just need to delete that uh, because it's kind of distracting so i'm going to clean off my brush with mineral spirits and try to scrub it out and make it neutral enough that it doesn't uh, look like a blob all right i'm going to stop there it is what it is i am happy with it for what the conditions were that is my view it stopped raining but um i'm not gonna try to change anything i think i left a pathway for the viewer to get to the lighthouse and i'm good i'm gonna stop and clean up before i totally get paint on everything One of the things I was very grateful for is that one of my friends had a 5x7 frame that fit the 5x7 canvas that I painted on. And I want to show you a, a tool that I carry with me all the time when I plein air paint. And I was so glad that I had that. I, I, I use it for oils and for pastels. But it's this small little tool here. And you have these little tiny triangle things. They're points that you put the point and you push in the back side and it holds the canvas in the frame. So when I finished painting, I had her frame that she bought at Hobby Lobby, I believe. We just took out the glass, took out the back that holds the uh, frame sitting up and I popped my canvas in and wired it. I already had the wire and the screw back loops, the deep, deep rings, I think is what they're called, that I was able to wire it and re have it ready to hang. Because when you participate in things like this, if you want to compete, it has to be ready to hang. And that includes a wire. So that's some of the stuff that you might not even think about. But I had to throw this in because that is some of the things you have to carry and plan ahead for your trip. And I didn't have a 5 by 7 frame because none of my pastels that I was going to work on was 5 by 7 But luckily I had a friend there who had a 5 by 7 frame and gave it to me that morning. So I was able to work with oil after all. And I had the tools I needed to frame it. I didn't win anything, and uh, but you know I'm not in it for that. I just wanted, I'm just glad I participated. And considering the these circumstances, I was happy to get a painting done. So the rest of today's videos will be of scenes from the area and some of the photos that we took. So the Forgotten Coast stretches across uh, part of the panhandle of Florida and uh, is on the Gulf Coast. So enjoy the view. Thanks. Testing out my new waterproof socks. It feels wet, but I can't tell till I take my feet off. My feet off, haha. <laughs> my socks off. <laughs> <laughs> 